Why waste the gas? Don't shoot it. Oh, there they are. Oh, okay. Whoa. What? Oh. Crap. You see him out there? Cleaning off my mouse pad. There they are. Oh, Lambda symbol. Peek out. Damn it! How many are there? Spamming that ammo. I'm not as gonna be as good as aim because my my hands are shaking. Oh crap! They're coming this way. I'll take care of them now. Where are you at? Oh! Oh, we were there. Yeah, <laughs> lucky has fallen. Yeah, uh... You, you wouldn't believe how many... Uh, how many th different things we've gotten. Oftentimes when people would see a salvage yard, they'd be like, Oh, what the world, you know? Uh, if you've ever been to one in the city, you'll think, Wow, look at all this stuff, you know? There's, there's just so much. Okay, let's go. Oh! Oh, look at, look at. Oh, let them get close. Three of them, the three amigos. <laughs> That's another good movie, if you haven't seen it. We're gonna crowbar this dude. Ah! Obviously, wasn't going down from bullets because we shot him like 20 times. Ugh. I'm scared of heights too. <laughs> I can't do roller coasters very well. I'm gonna try this year, I think. Get me through this water as fast as possible. Oh, that deep part. One time we cleaned out an, uh, an old building that was around a town square, and it was it had a it had a basement to it. Even though it was a business building, it had a it had a basement. You know they were built more like a house back then because you know this was like a hundred years old, and uh, the walls were leaking and, and caving in from the side and the dirt. You could see the dirt and everything. So uh, the 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 water had come in and. Part of the floor was you know, was covered in water, and there's really no way to drain it other than drain it out yourselves, like uh, using dehumidifiers and stuff like that. Uh, but uh, the the 
the floor had the dirt coming in too so you had water inside here and there, there we, we had to move out all the stuff out of the basement and there was all kinds of promotion uh, promotion items because it was an old pharmacy and all kinds of decorations from Christmas and uh, you know different holidays and shelving and wood and it, some of it was so rotted that uh, like y if you've ever seen rotted wood that it gets wet and gets so brittle that it, you could literally just break it apart it's practically fertilizer by then uh that that i, I was surprised to see that was actually going on because the business literally had just you know stopped you know uh moved to locations uh excuse me let me get a drink the business had just moved locations that year so the whole time they're sitting there they're sitting on top of a place that's caving in beneath them you know, and I'm thinking, whoa, man, could you imagine that, walking into a pharmacy or something like that, I'm here to get my pills, whoop, fall through the floor, and who knows where, you know, it could be a sink pit, a lot of water running in there, quicksand, uh, wouldn't it be awesome to, you know, make a, like, in a post-apocalyptic hideout in one of these train cars, that'd be so cool, you'd have water right there, you could purify it, you know, distill it. I don't know if I'd even trust that boiled. Good God. Guess those sirens are for you, huh? Good thing you found us. You're not the first to come through here by This is the free man. The Combine's reckoning has come. <laughs> Look, we're just a lookout for the Underground Railroad. Main station's right around the corner. They'll get you started on the right foot. Meanwhile, let my Vortigaunt friend here give you a jolt to get you going. Vortigaunt. Uh... The, these are all voiced by Lou Gossett Jr. Be careful now. We really can't afford to get noticed. Civil protection catches you down here. It's bad news for the whole railroad. We serve the same. If you saw when we came in, Hit the road, there was a uh, G-Man on, on the TV. He's watching us. You can see the map here. And look at that. Resist. You know, Breen. You know, they're going to resist him instead of his propaganda poster that says he's a great guy and stuff like that. They have their own propaganda posters. Chinese food, anyone? Oh, look, an old CRT TV. <laughs> what? Did you see that? It landed like that. Uh, we never had a new TV until I was older and we bought one. Uh, we actually bought uh, one years and years and years ago. Uh, until I was like, I think, 21. That's when we bought it. Uh, we would always find them in salvage loads, or when we cleaned out eviction houses, they would leave TVs behind. And so none of them were really new or big, because everyone's going to take their big TV. So it was like 19 inches, uh, and, you know, at the, the most, maybe a little higher. And, uh, you know, 20-something maybe. Uh, low 20-something, 24, if that. And so the, that whole time we had a bunch of TVs. We, we used them for video games and stuff. I remember when we were young, we didn't get in as many, because we weren't, uh, it wouldn't, I mean, very young. Uh, we were watching Power Rangers uh, on uh, the, some of the old TVs we got as well. Uh, after we got a few, we started getting them in. We took one up to our room in our uh, old, old, old house. And it was a small little gray one, like uh, black and white, not uh, gray. And uh, we watched Power Rangers on that thing. And I swear to this day that I saw the colors of Power Rangers without, you know, on that black and white TV. Before I ever seen them in color, I knew, I could tell the colors because they, you know, the Power Rangers, man, I'm so into Power Rangers. It's Morphin Time. Who, who didn't stand out when they were a kid and be like, it's Morphin Time and try to, like, pull something around their back and, like, actually try to morph? Who didn't want that? If you were a Marty Morphin fan, you, you were doing that. The Green Ranger. Oh. The green eye glowing from the candle. Man, that was awesome. Thanks for watching, and remember to join me in the next video. And as always, take care, be safe, and be cool to each other.